What's going down? Basically, my bears channel DC Multiverse Weekly is the show. I'm your host, Thor. I'm back with all the news, pre orders, announcements, and McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse. Let's go. Um, <clears throat> So another big week. I mean, I could have probably dropped this video a couple days ago, but I was like waiting. And what I was waiting for is back in New York Comic Con, there was this picture that dropped that had all these seven figures up. And we've gotten um, six of them so far. All right. So back in New York Comic Con, we had this picture with seven figures in it. We had Signal, Catwoman from um, Hush, Bat Black Batman Blue Hush. We had Superboy, Mr. Freeze, Joker, and Eradicator. Well, all but Eradicator have now been announced, which is pretty awesome. So last week, I did Signal, uh, Superboy, we talked about Catwoman, we kind of, we've gone through all of the ones so far. Well, pretty much the day after that video dropped, or the day that video dropped, boom, they dropped the Joker, which is an Infinite Frontier version of the Joker. I don't know, like, I've heard a lot of people, I've heard a lot on both sides of this coin. I love this Joker, I hate this Joker, I have three Jokers, I don't need any more Jokers. I have six Jokers, I don't need any more Jokers. Five Jokers, seven Jokers, whatever. <clears throat> However many Jokers do you have. This Infinite Frontier one, there's another option out there for you. I mean, I don't think it looks awful. I don't think it looks... I think the, the promo picture looks way better than the than the picture that they put up with the other seven figures. And that's for everybody. These these actual promo pictures with setups um, and shot with good lighting and stuff look way better than seven figures slapped in a background and put on a big screen during Comic-Con. Um, I don't know what he has in his hand in the picture for the Joker one, but it's... I don't know. I'm I'm gonna I wanna wait and see what he all comes with because none of these figures are up for pre-order yet. None none of the figures are up for pre-order yet. So right after Joker, like the next day, boom, Mr. Freeze with a freeze ray gun. Um his helmet looks amazing, looks a little frosted. The goggles are just it, all you get you get this one promo picture with Batman frozen in the background, but you can see the suit, you got the tubing, you don't get the whole look, but I'll 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 wait. I'll wait for it because like I said, no pre-orders yet. So none of the box shots are up, all the accessories, like none of the, the closer look pictures that McFarlane puts up usually second have been put out for any of these figures or any of the figures from the last video. That's why I haven't put them up yet. But as soon as they're up, I'll share them. But literally the second they, they're posted, I'll share them to my channels. Don't worry. But Mr. Freeze, this is a must have. Obviously to complete your rogues gallery or to fill out more of your rogues gallery. This is a seven inch Mr. Freeze. Some people I've heard say they want to be bigger, like more of a bigger suit. And I, I like myself mm, a, a, a slimmer Mr. Freeze, uh, you know, still frozen, you know, still with all the components that Mr. Freeze needs, but I don't need him to be big, beefy, hulky, you know, he doesn't need to be like a Bane or, or big, like has that stature and size. I've never thought of him like that. Um, like you do with some of the other guys, Clayface, you know, Bane, for, you know, example, uh, Freeze isn't like a, oh, he needs to be a Hulkster. Um, and then they dropped two figures that weren't even talked about. So Eradicator is still like out there floating in Earth. Cyborg Superman, he's he'll be down at some point. The last figure on that picture is seven. But they figured let's just drop two other figures because we don't have enough coming out right now. So boom, here you go, Jay Garrick. OG style with the blue pants and the red suit and the silver hat. So we got the death metal version, which I know a lot of people didn't love. Um, and I think this is kind of the correction of that. So if you didn't love the Jay Garrick death metal um, or speed metal or whatever, the build a figure with the darkest night, then this Jay Garrick, this is your classic comic version. I think this one's for you. I love this version. I mean, I want that darkest night. So I might end up with both versions, even though I definitely don't need two Jay Garricks in my life. Um, I might end up with this one just because it is so classic. Now, none of these have been said they're gold labels. None of them have been said they're, t they're store exclusives. Nothing. All we know is that they're coming, and here's your first look. So the last figure that they announced, and like I said, I was waiting for Eradicator, and I was kind of surprised it was this dude and not Eradicator yesterday when it was announced, but Gladiator Batman from Dark Knight's Metal. Gladiator Batman. Look at this. It's just this one promo picture of him standing in this arch, but the armor and the red burgundy-looking cape with the axe and just the gauntlets and everything about this figure is absolutely amazing. I don't even care that I don't... I'm not into it. I'm not... I wasn't into Gladiator Superman, and I'm probably not going to get him. But this, this Gladiator Batman, and I know, I've said, I have way too many Batmans. I don't even need any more Batmans. I have a whole shelf of Batmans. I have probably six unopened Batmans. I don't even want to talk about Batmans. But this armored Batman is amazing. I mean, D-Zang. Death Metal 
Dark Knight's Metal is a great run. I love that they've done a ton of figures from that series, from that run. Uh, I mean, like I said, none of these are exclusives so far announced. None of these are gold labels. Like, woo, yes. Um, we should be excited about all that because there's been too many gold labels, too many store exclusives. But these four figures are all dope. It's a pass for me on um, the first one who I can't even remember. And then Freeze is, is a definite yes. Garrick is a probably yes. And then obviously this armored Batman or gladiator Batman is just an absolute for sure for me because it's just like, <clears throat> yeah, that's, it's, it was just ridiculous. Who was, oh, the Joker. Yeah. So the Joker of the past. That's why I couldn't even remember him. That's so, I don't know. You let me know. What do you think? Tell me, tell me what you think down there. You know, you know, dude, you know, this next one. Losers. <laughs>